think she's a type of movie. And, you know, I think, you know, she has dope music. You know, I'm not no hater. Dope music is dope music. She's a pretty girl. But that don't mean that you can just book anybody. It don't work like that. Okay, so I know that many of you guys see Rihanna as an absolute baddie and an icon. But allegedly, there was a time when she was bad news. And one of those people who brutally experienced her mean side was Tiana Taylor. And for many years, they have hated each other. Do you think you and Rihanna ever be cool? Um, I mean, I don't no so what's the real tea between tiana and rihanna though and what exactly did riri do to tiana to make tiana hate her so much some of you will say that tiana mm, has not always been a nice person and that she's done her fair share of bad things to rihanna like how it was rumored that she is the one who leaked rihanna's x-rated pics and how she stuck by chris brown when he had that dv incident with rihanna the thing is tiana and chris brown were really good friends for years and they were part of a Harlem squad called The Breakfast Club. And when Rihanna came into the picture, she also became friends with Tiana. However, in 2009, when Chris Brown had that nasty altercation with Rihanna, Tiana sided with Chris Brown because she was his friend. She didn't say that she supported what Chris did, but Tiana said she would be by his side. In her words, and I quote, he had to go on and talk about the situation because no one heard his side. I don't condone what he did. It's never right to hit a woman, but I'm gonna be by his side anyway, end quote. Tiana also told The Vibe, after people called her a DV apologist, a lot of people were jumping on different bandwagons, and I really felt like that was whack. Before the incident between him and Rihanna, Chris had always been my brother. When we met, we clicked instantly, from our fashion styles, to our love of basketball, to dancing, to everything. I've known him for four years, and I was one of the only people that stood by his side when the situation happened. Let's just say that Rihanna didn't appreciate how Tiana took Chris Brown's side, and and they never got along after that. Something else that caused problems between Rihanna and Tiana was that at the time Rihanna and Chris had their DV incident, Rihanna reached out to Soldier Boy, who was dating Tiana. That's Rihanna, man. That's the biggest RB in person. She just got humiliated. Come to the show. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no big deal. I was dating Tiana Taylor at the time. According to Soulja Boy, when Rihanna got to a tour bus he was in, he told everybody to leave, including Tiana. And that obviously made Tiana hella angry. I said, yo, Tiana, you gotta go. I know you're my girl and all, but Rihanna just got on the bus. Y'all gotta go. You did. She got mad. She called Chris and snitch. He on the bus with Rihanna right now. Da, da, da. The feud actually became worse when Tiana became good friends with Rihanna's top rival, Karuchi Tran, who was Chris Brown's next girlfriend. Again, Tiana said that if Rihanna expected her to side with her and not Karuchi, then she was clearly out of her mind because she met Rihanna through Chris. And because Chris was still like a brother to her, it was her job to make his girlfriends feel at home. Honestly, whatever was happening between Rihanna and Tiana should have ended at just that. But by 2012, it was very clear that there was something else going on when Tiana suggested that Rihanna ripped off her style, and Riri got mad. In an interview with Complex, Tiana explained how she paved the way for some artists' sexy boyish look, as well as how she was rapping and singing before it was cool. She said, I do feel like I influence a lot of artists, but the way I look at it is not in a negative way. I love them. When I came in the game, it wasn't okay to be a girl and wear sneakers and hats and streetwear. They called me gay. Now the tomboy thing, it's sexy. Rihanna and Rita Ora are fly and sexy. I'm happy I was able to pave that way. I love seeing our artists dress like that. You ain't gay if you throw on sneakers and a hat. Um, excuse me, will somebody please tell Tiana about some little unknown artists named TLC and Aaliyah who were tomboyish way before she came on the scene? One could argue that maybe they paved the way for her. But what do I know? And Rihanna was not happy about the comments and she took things a notch higher in September 2013, and things became really nasty. Like, Rihanna really proved that she did not like Tiana, because tell me why, after Tiana posted a video clip singing Anita Baker's song, Caught in the Rapture, Rihanna went on to upload her hairstylist, Youssef, singing the same song in Tiana's signature look, a curly wig and a baseball cap. It was pretty evident that Rihanna was mocking Tiana, and Tiana was not about to take that insult without a comeback. She actually responded by directing a tweet 
at Rihanna with the message, petty is petty and shade is shade. She knew what the F she was doing. I seen Caught in the Rapture on IG and she posts her boy singing the same song, the same part with curly hair and a snap back, hashtag petty. And after Tiana called her petty, Rihanna clapped back and joked about Tiana's net worth being $500,000 compared to her $90 million net worth. And both of them also changed their cover photos to prove that neither was willing to go down without a fight. Rihanna changed hers to an image of her net worth versus Tiana's, and Tiana used a photoshopped image of her hitting the photograph of Rihanna's injured face after the Chris Brown incident. Ouch. Tiana also clapped back once again, saying Rihanna had $90 million and 90 million men driving in her box because her body count was just as high as her net worth. In short, she was calling Rihanna out for sleeping around to get ahead, which was something that was also being said by a lot of other people. Well, that definitely hit Rihanna where it hurt, and she responded by saying that she wasn't gonna breathe too much life into their feud because it was most likely only going to benefit Tiana's career. In her words, I refuse to help your career. You will not get an at from me, not till you pay me. Hashtag no more free promo. Hashtag I refuse. You see how they were both having a back and forth on Twitter. Well, guess what? Tiana is the only one who faced the consequences for apparently taking things too far with the Chris Brown joke. Riri's Army even started a change.org petition for Taylor to lose her Adidas Reebok sponsorship deal. And she did. Adidas released a statement saying, we have ended our relationship with Tiana Taylor and do not have any upcoming product launches with her. All we can say is that Adidas partners with athletes and artists who blend well with our brand values. Tiana responded to the statement by writing on Twitter, hey haters, I'm a let y'all finish, but I had the fastest selling Adidas of all time. And when she was asked if she lost the partnership because of Rihanna, she confirmed it. So you still have the Adidas deal? That's still a go? You no. Did, you, After my first sneaker, that was... Was that because of Rihanna? Was that because of Rihanna? I mean, that's what the statement said, right? Some people thought that Rihanna probably pulled some strings because she had more influence, and that possibly made Tiana hate Rihanna even more. So later on, Tiana also opened up about the feud with Rihanna on Hot 97, and she said that she did not understand why Rihanna publicly mocked her. She also pointed out that Rihanna's fans enabled her to be mean to everyone, but with her, they got the wrong address. Well, later, Rihanna and Tiana tried to make it look like they were past the feud when when Rihanna's fan made some disrespectful comments that have been deleted about Tiana's grandparents who are deceased. Rihanna DM'd her fan to check her and then explained the difference between being a stan and being an internet troll. For her part, Tiana also said that Rihanna ate her April 2014 Vogue cover and even added a message praising Rihanna. Then when she stopped by the breakfast club, Tiana said there was no beef and that Rihanna's fans were the ones making a big deal out of everything. In September 2016, Tiana also gushed about her exclusive Puma X Fenty collection, which was said to have been personally sent to her at the request of Rihanna. Maybe they did actually hash it out, but if there is one thing we have all learned about Hollywood, celebrities make friendly gestures even though there's still some beef going on. In this case, it's probably not fair to take sides because allegedly both Rihanna and Tiana were not easy to deal with. But I'd love to know what you think. Who was really the evil one between Rihanna and Tiana? Was Chris Brown the real reason they had a fallout? Or was is there something else going on there, in your opinion? Let me know what you think in the comments section below.